Okay, here we are again. We have done the first two rows of the little baby booty, and we're ready for row three. So for row three, it says to chain one. Chain one. And then two single crochets in the first single crochet, right here on the tip. So we're going to do one. Then one single crochet in each of the next ten. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then it says do two single crochets in each of the next two, one in the next, and two single crochets in each of the next two. So that's all going to come around here. So we're going to do two here. This is one. Two. Then we do two here. One, two. Then we do one all by itself. Then we do two in each of these. So we're making that curve again. One, two. Or the next one. One, two. Now it says do ten single crochets. One in each of the next ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, sorry, getting out of camera. Seven. Then at the end, we do two single crochets in the end. Yes. So here we go, two right here. Shoop. One. Two. Now we have a fancy looking thing here. And that's the that bottom. That's the bottom of your shoe bottom of the baby booty. So that was round three, I mean row three. Now it's his turn. Fourth row, chain one. Chain one. Two single crochets in the first crochet. We're just really good at this now. We got it figured out. One, two. Then we do one single crochet in each of the next thirteen. One, Two, three. <coughs> My nose is itching. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two in the next two, one in the top, and two in each of the next two, just like we did with the others. Same kind of shaping over and over and over again. So we do two here. One, two. And we do two here. One, two. And then we do one right at the top. Then we do two here. 
one, two, and then we do two here. One, two. Then we do 13 single crochets straight across. One, two, two. my head on the light. <laughs> the world's falling apart. Four. Five. Six. Get that light right. Seven. Two in the last one. There. And two. Turn. Now we're going to do the row five. And we'll end after this so that we can save um, shaping the end step for the next video. So row, row five, chain one. And now it says working in the back loops only one single crochet in each single crochet to the end of the row. So the back loops only means you turn it like sideways kind of like this so you can see how you got V's coming across here. The back loop is the back side of those. So when you did your single crochets you were going through both of those loops. You went underneath both of them. But to work in the back loop you just go into the back, just like that, just the second half. So you have a front loop here. Sometimes you'll have a pattern that says work in the front loop, but we're just working in the back loop back there. So it says in the back loops only work one single crochet in each single crochet. So there's one, there's there. Always the back loops. Just go straight back in that back loop. And we're just going to do single crochets all the way around. We're not going to be doing two single crochets in any of them. Just one single crochet all the way around. Working in the back loops. And it gives it a different look. What we're doing here is we've got the sole pretty much finished. And we're doing this little decorative part right here. Right now. So we're just working in the back loops. All the way around. So now you know how to do row 5. We'll just keep going all the way around to the end working in the back loops. Now when you finish this row, this row, row 5, it says to turn and repeat that row five more times. So this is the beginning of those, but you don't count this as part of those five. This is one that's done all by itself. And then when you finish this row, you're going to repeat this row five times more. So what you'd want to do is to make your little t little hash marks, little ticks on a piece of paper and just mark off five when you finish doing this five times. Or you could use a row counter if you want and turn it every time you finish another row. But remember you're not counting this row. This is just row five. So the next five would be six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <coughs> so you'd be at row 10 by the time you finish those last five repeats. Sometimes it's hard to find that back loop, isn't it? It's not so easy, man. Oh, 
Don't you think it was funny when I hit my head on that light a minute ago? <laughs> I was sitting here making the video and I thought, man, something smells funny. And I realized I left the cover over the top of my light. It's got a little cover that flips down. And I forgot to open the cover and it was starting to smell funny. <laughs> starting to overheat. So good thing I noticed it. But I hit my head when I was trying to figure out what was going on. Anyway, just another little thing in Sandy's world. I think working in the back loop is a pretty effect, but it's kind of frustrating to work sometimes. It's not always the easiest stitch in the world. I prefer just doing regular single crochets, but if you always just do single crochets, then everything's always going to look the same. So it's good to learn to do different things to add a nice fancy look to your work. Back loop. And going in the back loop is not bad. I can handle that. So I only have a few stitches left. I'll be finished with row five. The end. We're at the last one. Yay! Woohoo! There we go. So now I did, like I said, that's the bottom of your booty. And then we're coming up the sides now. That's what these things through the back loops are going to look like. So now we're going to do that five more times, just like we just did on row five. Remember, when you start your each row, you're going to have to start with a chain one and then just start right there working in the back loops. So I'm going to leave you to keep doing that. Just do five more times of working in the back loops all the way around and then when I when I make my next video I'll have that part finished on my booty and we'll be ready to shape the instep. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!